Alright, uh, well, good morning. Well, it's, uh, 5.22 a.m. here. And, uh, I thought I would go ahead and, uh, do what I call a makeup labyrinth run. Since, uh, last night when I was streaming this game, I was trying to, I was trying to run the labyrinth. But about two-thirds of the way in, my computer decided to just do a sudden restart. Just ruining everything. So... I thought I'd go ahead and attempt to do a makeup one this time. But this is just gonna be a, a regular video recording of me doing this. It's not a stream or anything. So, um, yeah. But in a, um, I'm not gonna be playing any vinyl. It's just gonna be straight up in game, in game sounds. But, but anyway, um, and I'll, I'll let you know what I got. My main single target, Viper Strike. The extra damage support, faster attacks, and wild toxins. My main AOE ability, uh, Frost Blades. Ancestor's Call, Curse on Hit, which is attached to Poacher's Mark. That and leap slam, faster attacks. This basically allows me to leap. Allows me to leap faster, or i.e., move faster. And it's also got onslaught support. But the only reason I have that in there is just, just to fill the space. Couldn't really think of anything else to put in there. And decoy totem uh, just keeps the monsters off me. Uh, summon stone golem. He basically just a look, an extra helper and for some life regen. And again, because I just had this in my stash at the time and it felt kind of naked without some kind of support there, I went ahead and put uh, poison support in there. Uh, purity of elements. Couldn't really think of anything else to add in there. I got a... I probably could add a... Theoretically, I probably could have added extra area effect or something, but I don't want to have to pay a more of a balcony to do it. Then... Bale summon skeletons. Same thing there. I got... Onslaught attached to that, but uh, I think... Uh, these are the guys that get it, not me. Um, probably should have put something in that slot there, but couldn't think of anything. I'm gonna think about it. You put that in there. Yeah, decoy totem. Uh, then I got purity of elements. Mainly to get all the resistances up to the cap or close to it. Then a uh, Herald of Ice. I think I kind of went all in on, on the ice element with this. Hypothermia. And then Ice Bite. Originally I had Onslaught in here, but the uh, thing of it is, is the support gems only, only cover the explosion part of the Herald, not the extra cold damage or anything, so uh, Onslaught wasn't really going off that much. So if you're with Ice Bite and Hypothermia, it'd be more, more consistent. But, there's what I got. Yeah. Shall we go? Oh. Another thing I should probably show this is going to help frost blades big time. And this belt here, which pretty much helps overall. So. Yeah. Pick on the labyrinth. And my level is 46, so I do all gear this considerably.
and let's hope my computer doesn't restart. Justice will prevail. Computer lag. And, uh, I also changed my loot filter, so drops are gonna drops might look kind of wonky. There might have been a few kings I still need to iron out. Oh, also, I forgot to mention my class. Um, extra resistance is kind of redundant, but it, if there comes a situation where my uh, for some reason my resistances are reduced, this could help. Um, this one here. My health is only 979. It seems kind of like overkill, but um, 2700 over 8 seconds, I'm thinking it's going to fill up super quick. It also, 10% uh, of my mana gets removed, which means 278, which is pretty much going to wipe out all my mana. But uh, luckily, it's got a mana leech in there, so it'll kind of make up for it. Um, Probably not going to use this all that much, but it does remove curses, which might come in handy for, uh, depending on what kind of buff the Zaro gets. One of the buffs he can get is, uh, curses, so this will come in handy. Same thing here, uh, 40% more damage, and also removes curses. This is my defensive flask, lasts almost 7 seconds, and it's got a little bit of life leech. So, forgot to mention that earlier. Good job, Golem. careful about what I pick up because uh, it could be a while until I can find a stash. Yeah, there's a door trap. Grab some wet stones that are hardly used. Man, maybe I should have screenshotted that. Okay, so 
I'm done over there. Skiing tuning. To this day, this still bugs me. <clears throat> you need to be level 17 in order to equip it, but the item level is 34. Doesn't make any sense. stuff I collected last night before my computer decided to restart. just occurred to me. I already have an eel skin tunic. Didn't know that. Gonna be the uh, first of the three Azaro fights. Um, yeah, it's all. Excuse me. Hang on, let me out. Let me start that over. Okay, this is gonna be the first of my three Azaro fights. Fighting them on my Ranger here. Single target is Viper Strike. 
I'll just let you get a look at that. My AoE ability, Frostblades. It has a curse on hit. Here, I'll show this. Curse on hit, which is attached to Poacher's Mark. Then it's also got Ancestral Ancestor's Call. Hits up to two additional targets. And then Repost. Repost and Onslaught, not special. Uh, Veil Summon Skeletons, although I don't think I'll be able to summon them in here. I think, uh, I think adds that are summoned from boss battles, I don't think they count as souls. And then again, I hadn't really paid attention either. And then I got Leap Slam, which is attached to faster attacks. And again, just to put something in there, Onslaught. Um, then we got Decoy Totem, keeps the monsters off me. Uh, Stone Golem, just to have a little buddy to help me out. Also gives me some life regen as well. Then I got Purity Elements. It's helped me keep my resistances capped. Or close to it anyway, 73%. Then Herald of Ice. Uh, went all in on the ice damage. Or on the ice element, excuse me, hypothermia. Ice Bite. I used to have Onslaught in here, but I never went off often enough, so... Bigger putting in something more consistent. Alrighty. Well, let's hope my computer don't restart. Or the game don't crash. I forgot to put those on. Is only as efficient as those okay, lieutenants. Uh, if I manage to kill them, if I manage to kill them the other two times, I should get an additional treasure key. So, thus endeth the fight. That's one down, two to go. Good job, Golem. Oh, also, when you see the album, uh, Eight-way dart shooting out every so often. That's a word of frost. Nothing really super great or awesome about it. Uh, if only because it's on a cool, like on a four-second cooldown. If it was going off after every kill, then it'd be awesome.
Oh, that was well hidden. The pursuit of power can be a grotesque affair. idea what that did. Be twice blessed. I... Let me, uh, let me go on the browser and look that up. Yeah, I'd still like to know what that means. Hopefully my comp don't restart. Oh, okay, so I can use the divine thought twice, but that means I have to make it all the way to the end of the labyrinth, though. So, it's great if I can get there, but if I don't, it's useless. Oh, that kind of snuck up on me. And looks like we're heading for Trapalrama. The son of Ezemir met the son of San upon the road to the Imperial Throne. The Eternal offered his cunning. His eyes and ears bought and paid for. The Ezemite offered his strength. His sword. Earned in the arena. A pact was forged. The labyrinth is witness. Two men separated by blood. Two men bound by hope. Two men. And only one emperor. Whoa, whoa, spike traps. My job. My mana is gone. Man, screw that up.
Uh. So I have to go back that way. Uh, I'm not really in the mood to deal with the fire stuff, so I'm just going to take a scenic crowd. The Ezemite and the Eternal took their rest in the Lee of Strife's Gale and remembered the traveled road. The beast and fiend had fallen and bled to the Ezemite's sword, swift and true. Trap and trial had risen and succumbed to the Eternal's wits. Oh, I think I know what this area true. is. Two men had cried their triumph, the warrior and his guide whilst other ascendants echoed their pride with anguish and agony. Shut that down. So I just went around and around and I went nowhere. So apparently that's my goal to get in there. Oh hell. That would only slow me down. Here we go. out of room. Good job, Golem.
orders to strike an emperor. Okay, I'm gonna do this now before I forget when the battle starts. To entertain doubt is to dance with. Gotta be able to hear auto audio cues and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna start IDing. This thing. Oh, that's an interesting one. And when I uh, when I turn this in, I'll probably get another. I'll probably get yet another chromatic orb, and not a not one of these, which is what I really need. Fight number two of three. Uh, and in this battle here, it's gotta have some backup. Lightning damage resist, lightning. Resist. Cold damage resist, cold. You got a fire guy here. Uh, but if, if I'm guessing correctly, they're only gonna come up one at a time. But as I, uh, as I outgear this place by almost 15 levels, um, I should, barring incident, be able to take out a Zaro before all three of them come up. Should. And I, I still gotta figure out what kind of buffs he's gonna have when he, when he shows up too, so. I'll go ahead and reiterate. Hang on, let me just, no, screw it, screw it. I'll go ahead and reiterate my abilities. Single target, Viper Strike, AoE, Frost Blades. What's the big one of Frost Blades? Curse on Hit, Poacher's Mark, Leap Slam, Decoy Totem, Stone Golem, mainly for the Life Regen, and Veil Summon Skeletons, but I haven't used it yet, so. Purity Elements. Helps keep my resist cap kept. And then Herald of Ice. I wish me luck. The Emperor of and let's hope the computer doesn't restart. Portal. Shoot, I'm getting all three at the same time. He's gone. Okay. Well, that's fight number two down. I just go ahead and pick these up. Just uh, head back this way. So now he's gonna have uh, in the next battle he's gonna have these portals that uh bring out more ads. This act actually. I think I'll probably have the best setup right here because as they're just going to keep pouring in and I'm already going to have three lieutenants that I can just use frost blades on which puts poacher's mark on them so yeah but that's uh if I can make it to the third battle 
Remember, I still gotta deal with traps yet, too. Now I now I know I out I out gear and out level this this stuff. The golem's taking out the freaking yellow guys. Boom. No idea what this does. I'm guessing there's gonna be some. Oh, this is just a chance for extra treasure. Come on, click. Okay, I remember this area. I don't... I can't figure it out. I don't know if you have to hit all the switches. Or hit all of them in some combination. Or if you have to hit them all before time runs out. But I figured if that were the case, it would have said... Time to switch. Okay, I'm gonna bypass that area. I think what I'm needing is up here. Don't rush through these. Get away from that to reset. Slam over there, but I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to learn that the hard way.
Ground slam. have anything that removes um, removes freeze so I'm gonna have to ignore that one state walkways oh, let me see what the other one is let's see if there's another door can save a tree. A potent little gift from our primitive Who is this is tension mounts? No idea what that is. Let me up. Uh, let me look that up real fast. Oh. Um, all the traps on the final Zaro fight are disabled. But, uh, well, last I recall, I don't, I don't recall seeing traps in the last time I fought this guy. Trying to find a different door. Which apparently there isn't. So off I go.
Boom! are going to summon up. If I'm guessing right, these are all going to... I'll, I'll, I'll explain it. I'll explain it when I start the fight. How much good that one's going to do me? Oh, maybe not. Two of them I got. Oh, that's a uh, cold resist. That's cold avoidance. This is going to be the final fight with Azaro, uh, the third one. And this one here is going to be tougher than the last one. He's got these three, and I think all three appear at once. And he also has three portals that's going to summon a bunch of mages after me. Uh, this could, uh... So this is going to be a bit of a high-risk, high-reward fight, because uh, that's going to be plenty of ads, which means uh, plenty of poachers' marks. Uh, plenty of uh, flash charges, plenty of life on hit, life on hits. So, and I stated the last two times, a single target, is Viper Strike, Frost Blades is the AOE move, Leap Slam, Decoy Totem helps keep them all off of me. Uh, Stone Golem just gives gives me a buddy, and also gives you some life regen as well. Uh, Summon skeletons. I keep forgetting to look, but uh, I don't. I don't think the ads in this next fight here are gonna count as souls. But like I said, I I'm usually too busy focusing on other stuff like running away and trying to avoid getting killed to really pay attention if this works or not. The purity elements gives me some. Uh, gives me some reasons. Puts them at the cap or close to it. Herald device. I kind of went all in on the uh, ice element. It's got hypothermia, and it has ice bite. Without further ado, let's do it. And let's hope my comp don't restart. Or the game don't crash. Shoot some fish in a barrel. Gonna get a gonna get a screenshot of that sucker though. Alright, did it. An 
Oh wow, I got three treasure keys. So that fourth one I got was just nothing but a bonus then. So I got four of them now. Huh. I'm gonna be busy. Slow me down. Yeah, grab the powwow amulet. Or the log. Right on back here. No. Samurai sword! Oh wait, there should be a... There should be a stash in here. I just remembered. Yup. Too unique, but not of mine care for. Damn, wow. Wait, let me up. I want to screenshot these first. Split. Sounds familiar. Damn. It's like maybe I should give that to my ranger. Fifty six to one oh two. Probably use that one. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really have time, time for this. I'll just 
just go ahead and put everything in there. And then, as a just in case. Okay. Alright, here we go. take a lot of work because I'm gonna have to get this to I'm gonna have to get it to at least four sockets and three links oh wow percent chance to get a friendly chart killing an enemy affected by at least five poisons you get a power charge if you're on the five poisons good lord uh yeah I'm got to make a tough call between this and this Not as much in this one. Shot out of that. I don't I don't know if one will overwrite the other, but I should get an additional one here. Where the reflection one hit? Let me uh 
Let me look that up on the browser. Um, yeah, it's, uh, this one here creates a clone of me. But uh, it's on a 10 second cooldown, so... Maybe the next one I pick. Back to the original one. Okay. I'll just go ahead and pick these up. I was hoping it would give me a choice of three big, uh, three big, uh, pictures of each of the ascendancies. I was going to screenshot the one I want, or the one I have, Pathfinder, and then use that screenshot on one of my previous blog posts, which looks better than the one I got on there now, which is just part of the skill tree. Which looks like this, it's kind of ugly looking, so. I forgot to do that yesterday because... Other oh, thinking about other stuff. But that'll do it. It's gonna do it for the for the labyrinth run, and uh, I was very glad I completed it without the computer restarting on me. So one hell of a haul, I must say. So yeah, definitely got a lot of logistical stuff going on after this. But but the rest of my time is just gonna be spent identifying and vendoring all my stuff and doing various other logistical stuff so, so no need to record anymore but hey if you manage to stick around though thanks a lot for watching and until next time take care